Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. Today we're going to use our CNC Shark HD3 with extended bed by Next Wave Automation, available at rockler.com to assist us in making this tape dispenser. Stick around, hope you enjoy. I designed my parts in Google SketchUp and then I brought the 2D file into vCarve Pro. I assigned some toolpaths and saved it to my cloud storage and opened it up on my shop computer. I use double sided tape in the area where the parts will be cut out. This will keep the parts in place when they are cut free. I use a wide board to set the workpiece parallel to my X axis and then I use four aluminum hold downs to secure the workpiece. I loaded the file into the CNC Shark control panel, turned on my shop vacuums and let the CNC do all the work. When the program was complete, I used my shop vac to clean up the work area and the parts. Now it is time to work on the parts that will connect the sides. Then I head to the miter saw to cut them to the appropriate length. I use a trenching feature on my miter saw to hog away a clearance for the roll. With some creative clamping solutions, I use the miter saw to cut a length of one and a half inch dowel stock. Off camera, I cut a small piece of quarter inch hardboard and then I glued it to one of the sides. This will help guide the tape. I use CA glue to secure the bottom to the same side. I again use some CA glue to secure the other side. I make sure to place the dowel stock in the main hole to ensure they are lined up. Aiming for a 1 8 inch overhang, I mark the dowel stock for some notches I will cut at the table saw. These notches will keep the dowels from sliding out. Here you can see how the notches work. Next I glue in a piece of 1 quarter inch dowel stock. This will help put pressure on the tape as it's being unrolled. I use my flush trim saw to cut the dowel flush to the sides. For the second hole in the side, I glue up a half inch section of the large dowel stock to the end of a quarter inch dowel rod. This will be used to roll up the excess backing when stickers are loaded into the dispenser. To keep it in place, I use a small wood screw and a washer. Loading the dispenser is very easy. Load your tape or labels in the middle and insert the main dowel rod in the center. Feed the material under the supporting dowel rod and on top of the hardboard. If labels are being used, use a small piece of tape to secure it to the scrap dowel rod. Turn the knob and watch the labels come right off. Now you certainly don't need to have a CNC to make this project, but it makes your life a lot easier and the parts come out perfect. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you'd like to know more information on Glass Impressions, I encourage you to visit my website, andyglassimpressions.com, or search me on YouTube, Glass Impressions, 
as I frequently release woodworking and CNC content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.